This video will show you some of the nuances and tricks of using Eclipse to work with your projects. First of all, when you start Eclipse, it's going to point to a file system somewhere on your flash drive or your hard drive. And in order to change that, you can go into File, Switch Workspace, and Other, and then you can go to a different workspace. Now what I have mine set up for is into my Documents folder, I have a, a folder called Workspace. I since named that to Eclipse Workspace so I can recognize it from other things. Now we don't want to use this testing project so I'm going to right mouse click on this and say Close Project. And then I'm going to right mouse click on my package and I'm going to make a new Java project. And I always start my projects, or try to start my projects, with a PRJ, so it separates them from the class and method names. And I'm going to call this Keyboard Demo. And I leave everything else as it is. I can click Next, but I just leave all these defaults as they are and straight go to finish. Now that'll that'll make my keyboard demo. I right mouse click on it. I say new class and this will bring in my class and the name of my class is going to be keyboard demo. Now, we, we get a warning here that says the use of the default package is discouraged. So this would package would go right here. Normally, in a professional environment, you would set up a package, which would be like a folder, to hold all your related files. Because you'll be turning these into me, it's better if you go by the default, because then that's very generic, and I can just uh, import your project right into my Eclipse without coming up with a new name or figuring out what name you use for a package. So everything looks good. One thing we want, we might want to do is click this box here. It'll add our main method. But because I'm going to do some copy and pasting of code, I'm not going to include that. Click on Finish. And here's my keyboard demo. Now, in order to save time and keep this movie as small as possible, I'm going to do a little copy and paste. I'm going to go into a program that I wrote earlier copy it and paste it and right away you can see that I had changed the name so I'm going to say keyboard demo now in my code basically I have a main method here I set up a float variable I set a prompt for my user to type in the price and then I get that price from the keyboard using the keyboard class. But you'll notice over here I don't have a keyboard class. So I'm going to go into my default package, right mouse click, and I'm going to use the import feature. I'll go into the file system. And I have put this out on my desktop just to make it easy to find. So this is my directory. So I'm going to say choose. Now I can see my keyboard file in here, but first we're just picking the directory. And then I choose my directory. I scroll down. And here's my keyboard. So I'll check it. And then I'll say finish. Notice where it's going. It's going into my project demo, my source class. Do you see how that prefix really helps out? Keeping the same defaults. Do a finish. And now I have my keyboard Java. And you can see my air left. So now when I run the program, 